Welcome into XBS Radio. I'm your host, JK. On today's program, we will talk with community favorite Mr. T, the owner of the Red Wings. And we've got a few other tidbits of information regarding the upcoming XBSHL season. So let's jump right into it. You can join us at our website, www.xboxsports.com. That's xbox-sports.com. You can join our Facebook page for immediate updates and podcast information. Now, we had mentioned on the previous episode that Sunday night, the draft night, 9 o'clock Eastern, we would be doing a live set. That right now might be in jeopardy. I'm still trying to come up with some reasonable way to make this work and it's not happening so if we have any experts that use skype or know how to properly record with spreaker that might actually use it and we just don't know about it let me know i'm trying to get the audio from skype on both ends to record over spreaker and it's only picking up my voice and not those on the other end i've had a couple guys help test it out over the last 24 hours or so, and they've been fantastic. So I appreciate that help. So I'm still working diligently to get a live set going for Sunday night, but right now I can no longer promise that that's going to happen. But we will have some draft coverage for sure in one form or another. Also, you may have noticed, and it happened almost immediately after I had published my previous episode, Mac North, the possibly the greatest player in XBSHL history, arguably a top three player for sure, has made his announcement that he will be returning. I can't say I'm totally surprised by that, but he has a lot more on his plate right now, and he said it will be in a more limited role than usual. We'll see how limited that becomes. But welcome back, Mac North. Nice to have you. He has seven championships in the league, folks, and it's, it'd be a shame to lose him. Also, we have coming up in just a moment my interview with Mr. T, and I'm going to go ahead and cue that up right now. Good guy, Mr. T. Got to love him. Here's that interview I had with him last night. Enjoy. All right, he has played four seasons in the XBSHL. In Season 9, he had a career-high 38 goals and 52 assists with the Canucks and the Kings. He is currently the owner of the Red Wings and will begin his second season in that position. I am joined now by Mr. T. Welcome to XBS Radio, T. How are you? Oh, great, man. Thanks a lot for having me on. This has been an awesome show to listen to. Oh, thank you. It's it's an absolute pleasure to have you in here. Um, I'm just going to come out and say it. You heard my interview with Desired Customs. What is the deal with all the trades you two made last year? I don't know, man. I'm just, uh, I don't know. I just have fun playing with... uh, different people i think one of my goals last year as an owner was just to play with a lot of people that i haven't played with before you know so i I made a lot of trades and deals just so i could play with as many people as i could i didn't care about winning or losing last year was all about fun and i I think everyone on my team that was traded or not traded had a lot of a lot of fun i know i know i did so well as as you know on the site that is definitely the most important thing is having fun uh, do you do you feel the massive amount of trading though? Do you think that devalues the draft in any way? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so, man. I think uh, in the draft, we as owners go after the players we want to play with, and uh, I don't know. Sometimes you, uh, you you're, you're hurting for something. Like I drafted what thirty centers last year, so I had to make <laughs> trades to get some defense. You know, because I was playing back there, and uh, I'm probably one of the worst defenders you could have back there. So, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, are, are you able to say who you have opted to retain for the upcoming season, or are you still holding that back? Um, I'll tell you, two of the guys uh definitely going to have to uh, keep uh, BTW and um, and uh, Boozers. And then uh, a poss- I'm thinking about OSB as well. So, Pie Man, sorry. Yeah, Pie Man. <laughs> I had to think all the names. <laughs> <laughs> Speak, speaking of Pie Man, um, he crushed the uh, league hitting record last year. How important is it to have him 
up at forward rather than at defense, which I know he's been known to play in the past, where he can just hit at will without worrying about creating any you know odd man rushes. I thought it was huge last season, man. It was awesome. Just uh, kind of turned the momentum around in our favor. And uh, I, I just love seeing him do it. It got me excited. And uh, even if we were losing the game, once you put somebody through the glass, we loved it. You know, we we're having fun again. <laughs> it didn't matter what the score was. So and he was a blast to have on my team. He's a, he's a great guy. And, uh, you know, he's the type of person you want in the XBS. You know? well, I, I know there was one game, and I don't remember when it was, but he injured me in the first 10 seconds of the game and I was not the same for their last 59 minutes yeah well that's what the type of player he is man I know, I know he stuck up for me a lot of times somebody be face washing me he just come over and put him on the ice you know yeah great guy great enforcer so what adjustments have you been able to make now that you have a year of ownership under your belt well I think you know, last year, like I said, I got to play with a lot of different players in the league, and this year I'm kind of set on who I want to play with, you know. I uh, kind of have a, a really good idea of who I want to go after in the draft. And, uh, you know, last year I kind of played the the dartboard system, and, uh, you know, I had a couple drinks and then just threw darts at whoever <laughs> was up on the thing, you know. So this year I actually have a plan going in, you know. So Well, good. Now, you guys lost in the first round of the Blackhawks. Ugh. So you do have a plan to improve upon that? Yes, definitely. Uh, I'm not allowed to lose to Bajit at all this season, man. <laughs> not so at all. My biggest rival. Yeah, I pity the fool because we're coming <laughs> after him this year. I had oh, to throw that in there. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> well, what's the on the flip side of things? What's the biggest struggle you have at at this point of the season regarding the upcoming draft on Sunday? Uh, knowing the cost of the players that you want to go after in the draft, you know, uh, it's it's hard to tell. Uh, you know. Who would have known that Pixel would go for twelve point seven five last year? You know, uh, so it's hard to gauge the how much a player is worth. You know, you got you got the drug monkey thing out there, which is awesome. I, I enjoyed looking at that, and, but you know, you never really know. Well, I'd like to see how close the numbers are going to be when uh, the actual draft comes. It'd be interesting. Yeah, and as you know, this is a very heavy rookie class, as we've seen uh, from the combine. Are there any rookies that you've played with or seen that stand out above the rest? Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of them. I don't really want to say any names, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I agree with the ones that Shockstone said, you know, uh, Whiplash yeah. and uh, Chaz and Cam Banana, and there's a, there's a couple other ones, too, out there that I think they're really great players and just I think they're going to thrive in this community because they're also great, great people, too. Yeah, all I've heard about about some of these rookies is how how great they are to play with, both on the ice and you know in the microphone with the conversation that they have. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I almost think that in the microphone is the the most important part. It's hard to play a game if somebody's just jabbering in your ear the whole time, you know, or just talking about random stuff going on. I don't know. Yeah, you know, but it's almost just as important. It is that de- definitely just as important. Yeah, absolutely. Well, T, that should just about do it. Uh, best of luck Sunday as well as the rest of the, of the uh, regular season. And uh, it's always great to talk to you. Hope you'll come back and join us. Yeah, thanks a lot, J.K. I appreciate you having me on, man. All right. There you go. That's Mr. T. You know, coming up with the phrase, in the microphone, that was clutch. So hope I can do that again sometime. Thanks again, T. That was uh, much appreciated to have you uh, talk to us last night. One more bit of information that we've got, and I don't know when it's going to happen. I have to assume sometime today the list of full retentions should be available on the website, so you want to check that out. And some of you probably already know if you're being retained. Some of you probably don't. So it'll come as a surprise, hopefully, to most of you members out there, whether you're sticking around or you're going to be following the draft even closer. I know... Whatever my outcome is, I'm going to be following the draft very closely. And Sunday night, 9 o'clock, be there. Be ready. It's the most exciting time of the season without actually having to play a game. So hopefully we'll we'll generate something, and XBS Radio will be there in one form or another, whether it's live or it's uh, on a slight delay. We'll see what happens. But thanks again to my guest, Mr. T, and thanks to everyone who's been a part of XBS Radio and helping it to get launched, relaunched, for the side. This is a great community and I'm proud to be a part of it. I'm JK Guy 16. We'll see you soon. Yeah.